home empty handed. We declare this service open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Still in that attitude of thanksgiving, let's open up our heart this morning and worship the Lord. We cannot give God too much of worship, too much of thanks. Let's show our gratitude this morning because if not for God, Father Lord, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you for strength. Thank you for the gift of life. We are grateful. We are grateful, Lord. to worship God. grace that you are kept alive. It is by his grace that you are alive today. It is not by the good works you have done. It is not by your good deeds. It is just by his mercy. His mercy has kept us alive. 
We are alive today because he has decided to show us mercy. Lord, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, we worship you. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and let everything within me bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. He's been good. He's been kind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are good. You are kind. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor, adoration, Lord. We thank you. Brethren, today is the last Sunday in the month of January. Just like yesterday, we started uh, Happy New Year. We say Happy New Year. Let's go ahead. Let's appreciate our God. Let's appreciate our King. Many that we started this year, we started Hallelujah. Many are no more. Let's honor the Almighty God uh, that He has pleased Him to grant you and I breath to be among the living. It's an honor and it's a privilege. Father, we want to say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Abba Father. 
We honor you. We lift your name on high, Lord. Return all the glory, all the praise back to you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. This is your doing, oh Lord, and it's marvelous in our sight, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for all you have done, Lord. Be thou exalted, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as we go into your word, Lord Jehovah, briefly, Lord, breathe upon your word in our heart in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, touch every life in the name of Jesus. Save soul in the name of Jesus. Let the captive be set free in the name of Jesus. Let the oppressed be delivered in the name of Jesus. Let no life that appear before you this morning online in person go untouched in the name of Jesus. Meet us, O oh Lord, at the very point of our need in the name of Jesus. And let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's jump those hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. Please kindly be seated in his presence. Hallelujah. As we all know that we are waiting uh, and we praise the Almighty God that Scripture says in the Isaiah 40 that those that wait upon the Lord, uh, their strength shall be renewed. And the reason why we are making it loud, shouting it loud so you can connect. And as you connect to God by faith, Lord, we encounter you in the name of Jesus. We quickly want to go because we are fasting, we are praying, and uh, it is wisdom to go into this direction. Uh, what are the hindrances that may hinder us from not rece receiving our desired result when we fast, when we pray? We talk about fasting. But even if you are not fasting, at least you pray. And next month, by God's grace, we're going to look into prayer. Just yes, from next there about, we look into prayer. And because everything we do, they must, we must have understanding of why do we do it. When you look at the, my text, I read these two scriptures, the book of um, Romans 10, 2 and 3. Romans 10, 2 and 3. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to the knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto righteousness of God. You can see that scriptures there, especially in verse 2. Paul was bearing them weakness that they have the zeal. You know, when you talk about fasting, praying, some people like they are pray, oh, they can fast, it's not a big issue to them. But they are doing it what? In the wrong way. And we want to look at some of these things, why people do it, why people are doing the wrong thing. So we can examine ourselves. So we know we have been zeal. Just like when you are driving, the satanat is telling you, make a U-turn. You are going around, you are still zeal going through this. <laughs> you pop up the volume. He's telling you, God, you are still going. But his wisdom. The scripture says in the book of Isaiah 4, verse 6, my people perish for what? For lack of knowledge. And you discover that anything you want to do in life, friends, anything at all, you need knowledge. That's why the scripture says in the book of Proverbs, I believe 4, 7, that wisdom is what? The principal thing. The first among the line. So things we do, anything at all you mention it, that's why you go to school to learn that specific feed so you can outstand. For example, God forbid somebody is on the floor now, maybe gasping for breath. Some of us will be panic. But a doctor that have a knowledge tell you, oh, put it this way, put it this way. Some of us will be running up and down because what? Oh, we just be shouting, hey! Jesus, Holy Ghost. But someone that have the knowledge of what is going on, you just say, please calm down. In fact, you would drive them away. Put it this way, this way. And you get the right. 
result. So in everything we do, spiritual, in marriage, in raising children, in your career, of choosing career, you need what? Knowledge. And in the spiritual things too as well too, you need knowledge. And like I said, what are the things that we do in especially like this? Yes, some of us have been fasting, some of us have been praying. We have our desire. But what can hinder our prayer not to be answered? Number one, when you pray and miss, book of James 4 verse 3. James. There are many of them, but I will just quickly get a few that we can do. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, and ye that ye may consume it upon your lust. Two things there. The reason why the prayer will not be answered, because what? You are praying amiss. So in other words, when you are praying, you must pray, God, lead me to pray aright. Like I said, God wants you to go left. You are going right. And you want God to, to answer. It won't, it's not possible. The next one there in that scripture's word, that ye may consume it upon your what? Your own lust. How things are rampant among us. You see somebody getting something. Maybe God is that is not for you, or it's not the right time. You should want to say, ah, I must follow the trend. By fire, by thunder. You must get it. Or after all, always his way. Like they said, where I come from now, you don't agree. Eh? That is the slogan. <laughs> all way now, where you want. Whether is your time. Because of what? Your own lust. So we must examine ourselves. What is the reason why you are asking God for? What is the desire? What is the motive behind? Yes, we're going to move to the next one. For the wrong motive. For the wrong motive. You can, you can see that because of your lust, your heart is not right. There must be a genuine reason. Why do you, yes, even when you want to get married, why do you want to get married? You must ask yourself, why do you have children? Because, of, because, because uh, you just want to have it. Why? They must ask a genuine question. What is the motive behind it? What is the driving force behind it? You just want to show that, okay, you have a badge. You have a badge that you have this. And that's why sometimes when people pray, yes, I pray, like people pray too, like the church, we have our own building. But I've discovered some from pastors, all they just wanted to, to add it to their own title after all that are building. So motive, why do you want people? Why are you serving? What is the motive behind it? Our motive must be right. So that what? To check me that we're not doing it to our own loss. It must be what? To the glory of God. God must be the center of what we're doing. Because when you are doing this to right, you will not have your desired results. The next one is when you don't lack, when you lack faith. When you lack faith. Scripture says in the book of Hebrews 11.6. That he that comes unto to God must believe. Because of what? Without faith. We cannot what? Please God. And if you cannot please God, how will you receive something from him when you don't have faith? Lack of faith. Lack of faith will not what? make you to receive or you are doubters some people the doubt you're doubting God you can you are doubting if you're doubting God you will not receive because he sees your heart he says that your your faith must not be the like a waves of the sea yes today you you believe God challenges come you're doubting can it be can it work is it for me no you must constantly what, believe and trust God. It must not be a you know, wavering faith. Scripture says in the book of James 1, 6, 6 to 8, but let him ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavered is like a wave of the sea, driving with the winds, wind 
and thirst. Seven says, For let not that man think that he shall receive anything from the Lord. Scripture says in that verse 8, A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So ask yourself, examine yourself, are you a double-minded person? You are waving. Whatever the challenges come, you just flow with it. No. He says, let this no man, this, this man, this woman think he's going to receive uh, anything from God. So what? Make your, that's what, when we pray like this, when we fast in this, we are building our spiritual capacity to focus on God, to trust in him. Regardless of the situation around you or what you are, what, what you are seeing, you must not shake. You must not allow your, your, your faith to be wavering at all. You must constantly believe in God. And some of us, we worry. It. Sometimes we feel that uh, worry is a sign of that you don't believe God. And you can see that in the book of uh, Philippians 4 verse 6. Sometimes you want to believe that you are so serious. You worry. You know, head wise, you know, your worry is not good. You know that head wise, you affect your blood pressure when you are worried. And sometimes we feel like we want to be serious. I'm just worried. You're just going to have a headache and a gray head. Look at Philippians 4, verse 6. He said, be careful for nothing, but in everything, in by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. Be careful for nothing. This other version says, worry for nothing. Does it mean key that, uh, in fact, that's one of the areas that you show you're, you're doubting God. Because if you trust him, you know that he's working for your own good. He loves you. If he can live of me, send his own beloved, I mean, uh, the only begotten son to come and die for you. What head will he withhold from you? So worry, when you are showing your worry, you are showing that you are doubting God. And doubters, like you have said, don't receive anything from God. The next thing we want to look at is that unforgiveness. You are praying, you know, you are fasting, you know, ah, but you have an unforgiveness. You are walking in unforgiveness and you are praying. I can give you the liberty that go, you better go and eat. Go and break. So you will not lose on both sides. Because which God are you praying to? When you look at the scriptures in the book of Matthew 6, verse 10, was teaching us about prayer there. And he's saying that we should forgive our debtors. As God forgive us. Yes, is it Matthew 10? Okay, 12. Thank you. He said, and forgive our debtor as we forgive. No, forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. You see? Two ways there. Somebody asked many years ago in Sunday school. Does it mean that if I didn't forgive? My death, God will not forget. I said, can see there. You don't need another interpretation. <laughs> He's there. If you don't forgive your debtor, forget about God forgiving you. And there's a scripture there. I'm not sure. Yes. I don't have time to read it, but you can write it down. Matthew 18, 21 to 20, 35. He's showing us there how a man was forgiven. He asked for mercy. In fact, the, 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 the king wanted to put him to prison. He pleaded for mercy, pardon, and the man forgave him. And he went to the next street there. He saw, he saw that man, the woman that owed him for, is it 10 pence? <laughs> Come and see the way, maybe the drama should act on that. Come and see the, the, the way he hold the man's throat. And people that saw him, ah, and you that you forget, they know his story. And they went to report it. And he was called for it. And he was what? He was put in prison to be tormented. 
So it's given us that scriptures that we read in the Matthew 10, Matthew 6, 12. That if you don't forgive your debtors, if you do not let them go, you too are in bondage already. You are not loosed. So in the time like this, we must pray every word. And how do you know that? We're not saying that you're going to forgive all, you may forget all the wrong people have done to you. No, you won't forget. Because forgiveness is not, it's not memory loss, like I always say. It doesn't mean that my memory will not. No. But whenever you talk about it, your heart is free. People say that forgive is well. Forget. What's the other language? Forgive and forget. I, will for, I won't forget. Because if I'm going to write books now, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to be I'm going to be 10 years here in the ministry by April. All the wood around me. <laughs> After all, the Bible says the 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 the, 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 the righteous, the memory of righteous is blessed. I have them on the record. So if I'm going to write a book, I will, even though Paul said, somebody people wrong him. If I, I didn't, if I'm not going to affirm Paul, Paul will Paul deliver him to the devil. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> But I have a record that's part of the experience that I've gone through. How people stab me. In the ministry, how people that you look up to stab, deny you, make a mockery of you. I'm going to put that. But I did not do wrong. I see, I saw it, and I saw God that you don't have to fight. God will fight for you. And that's one of the beautiful things. Bible says that the, 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 the stone that the builder rejected, it became what? Oh, my, it's going to be loud. Oh, my, that's why I love that uh, slogan. It's loud. When you're not coming out, uh, is it him? Is not him? Uh, is him? They will go back to your vomit and eat it. You will be watching them when they are eating it. Beautiful. So you're not going to fight. But the beautiful is that what? You forgive. You forgive. Because what that is a sign of your true Christian, your true believer. Our example of our Lord Jesus Christ, he was being beaten, being thrown things to, being called names. Even at the cross, he was saying, Lord, Father, forgive them. Ah! If I want to read some of that things in the Bible, that's really somebody else. Ah, forgive them, people. They don't know what they do, okay? <laughs> You are hurting me, you forgive. But we have this nature, the nature of Christ. And these things is, is hard sometimes. But we have to open ourselves to God. God. And that's one of the things we pray, we fast for. Father, deliver me. Help me to let it go. How they won't have run because you are doing that, you are holding your own blessings. I remember a man, there's a lot of scripture to that, testimony regarding that. Somebody went for uh, war, went for war. By the time he came back, his wife had got married to that man. I think it was Benny Hill that was showing that story. At the end of the day, by the time he came back, his wife had got married to another man. He said, ah, this is my wife. And his in-laws, the man that got married, beat, he was beat, beating, throw out. He left with that heart. At the end of the day, because of that halt, you know, sickness came. He has maybe, I don't know whether it's cancer or anything, that, something that he has. And he went to man of God. As he was about to pray, man of God said, you, know, you are holding somebody in your heart. Let them go. Let her go. Let the fellow go. He said, no. Ah, go for where? If that one will make me to heal, let me die. Let me die. In that you see how bitterness so it was in between. Is it should I let it go so I can receive my healing or holding on that grudge? That painful thing. He has to choose. So your desire miracle that you are believing God for, maybe as a small thing, like smallest thing like this unforgiveness. And it's a big issues. And how will you know that you are still operating on forgiveness? When you are talking about your eyes is still red. After five years. Seven years, you're recalling it, you're talking about your heart, your, your, vote, your vibe is still shaking. That means you better work on it. Because what? You are putting yourself, your hand, and you are being in chain, in bondage. 
The next one is disobedient. Disobedient. Oh, believers, including me. <laughs> we disobey. God says, sit down. God says, give your last five pounds. I said, give to who? You don't trust God. And that is, disobedience is a sign of that you don't trust him. That simply means you don't trust him. Disobedience. When you look at the book of Isaiah 1, 9, 19 to 20, he says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat what? The good of the land. He said, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat. There is a good in the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with a sword. From the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. A, all you just need to look at the story of uh, Israelite. They would disconnect from God. And the moment they disconnect from God, the same God will open God to the adversary for them. He will come and torment them. Torment them, torment them. They will not say, ah, after the suffering is too much, they will not return. They will not return to God. And God will show mercy and restore them. So is it because is it maybe because you, the reason why you are here where, where we are is because of what you are disobeying God. God said, "Do not do this." That thing, that's where your your heart is craving for. No, follow Him. Obey, like the hymn we always say: "When we walk with the Lord, in the heart of His." I don't know that part, and I, but I know. Trust and no faith. But there is no what? In Jesus. Thank you. We all know it. How far you will be happy in this kingdom more oh, is when you trust and obey. To be happy in Jesus. It's only in Jesus that is happiness, joy. There is no other happiness. Trust and obey. How far you want to go? It is what is that simple scriptures govern our our the whole entire journey with him. Trust and obey. The high flyers we say we saw in the Bible when the Bible called, told Abraham, Father Abraham, go and make sacrifice. Your only big, the only son that you have. You know, following God doesn't make sense. So, like a little bit fool. Oh, you hope you know that. They must say the man to go and kill his son. The one has waited for how many years? Is it 25 years? And it does look like a down the mountain. <laughs> Going to the mountain for three days. And the man obeyed. After many years, he's still being relevant even at that whole time. Abraham blesses a man because what? Abraham obeyed. He told our father in law to go in the bush. I'm not going to give you a three bedroom flat, I'm going to give you a city. If you are you, are you going to go and stay in the bush where you see snake? Even though you see rat in your house, you are shouting. Somebody said, God told somebody to go and stay in the forest with his children. And people call him, this man is insane. What kind of Christianity is this? The man is this, he did mental check up, you know. You need to take him to, you know. But he obeyed. And we are seeing the result. So it's God desires for you what? To take you what? Far. But how far are you willing? Because he said what? That we said if you are willing, that means he's not going to force you and I. It's a choice. You are not remain to stay there. In fact, your next step, your next breakthrough, your next greatness you are believing God for, it's what? Is your willingness to yield yourself totally to him. Accept that. Thy kingdom, you will, you will hold me. You will not pass that in. in this kingdom. If you don't pass it, you don't move on. I hope you know that. The womb will let my people go. There's no let my people go here in this kingdom. If you don't pass, there's no acceleration. And he, he will, and he, thank God, he's a comforter. He will comfort you there. 
he will come for you. So in other words, and this is my own motto in this year, or oh, whatsoever he tells me to do, Father, give me the grace to do it, not to water it down, not to talk it down. Because sometimes we are too corny, you are too wise to be with God. You want to talk it down. God, Peter could have missed his major breakthrough because to him it doesn't make sense. He's a fisherman, he knows what the time to go, he has all the tools. He went all day, all night, he caught nothing. But when he walked with the master, trust and obey, he yielded his boat. After the master used his boat, what I said, the same master, throw your net. He said, ah, master, we have toiled all night, caught nothing. But he said one thing, at your word, at the word. So one thing you must be believing God for in this verse, wait upon the Lord, listen to his word. And whatsoever he tells you to do, throw your life into it. Your life is even going to be amazing. It's going to be amazement to you. So we must be willing. I thought we were going to pray, but I still have some few lists. Honoring your wife. Scriptures is 1 Peter 3, 7. If you disobey your wife, your prayer may be in doubt. Men, is there. Should we put it out? Yeah, okay. Likewise, ye husband, dwell with them according to the knowledge. Given honor unto your wife and also unto the weaker vessel, has been here to get together for the grace of life. That your prayer be what? You see that? You are fasting, though. No? They say you should fast 50 days. You are doing 60 days dry. You are not, you are not following this. I wonder the God that is going to answer you. So the moment I saw this, oh no, I have to be humble. <laughs> I have to be humble. Eh? You know, I saw this many years ago. God, help me. This no. <laughs> Except it's going to be a wasted effort. You need to go and memorize this. And to, for men, women too, you have your own verse. That's Ephesians 5.22. Submit yourself to your own what? Mm. You can some of us submit outside. But inside, you are rebellious. You want to do your will. In this kingdom, you don't do that. You submit. In fact, the Bible says submit to one another. We're going to close now. I see you have um, one of the can go on and on. But we continue from there. But I pray that with this point, as we wait upon the Lord, our, our desire is that we don't just want to do it and everybody is doing this. In fact, some of us, we do it pride. You know, there's the scriptures, Luke 18, 21. If the man said, I fasted 22 uh, twice a week. I gave my tithe. He was boastful, being proud. Some of them are not fasting. It's me that I'm fasting. And at the end of the day, with your fasting, God is still rejecting you because of what you are doing with show off. You're not doing with humility. Let's bow down and, 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 and uh, our hearts to God. With this few points and even more, examine, like the Bible says, Scripture says, let every man, man, every man examine himself. He that thinker he stand, let him take it lest he fall. Anywhere I've been walking disobedient, walking my own ways. Scripture says there's a way that cement right unto men, but the end is what? Destruction. Father, I don't want to walk in path of destruction, Lord. I want to follow you all through, Lord. Lord, help me. Help me, Holy Spirit. I don't want to pray and miss, Lord. Search in my heart. Is any wickedness in me? Anything that I'm asking, is it for my wrong motive, Lord? Is it unforgiveness in me? Am I dishonoring my wife, Lord Jehovah? Jehovah, King of glory, help me. Is there any pride in me, Lord? King of glory, search me, oh Lord. As I wait upon you, Lord, open my eyes to see, Lord. 
Help me to amend, 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 amend my ways, Lord. Help me to align my life unto you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help every one of us, Lord, both young and old, men and female, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help everyone, Lord. Everyone that is going through this struggle, Lord. Challenges, Lord. Father, help us, Lord. With your mighty hands, deliver us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. And if you are not giving your life to Christ, today is another day. Thank God you are among the living. Open your hand unto your maker. He's calling you. Scripture says a prayer of a sinner's abomination to God. The only prayer God answers is prayer of repentance. Come unto him. He's calling you. Father said, open your heart. Invite him to your heart, Lord. Jesus Christ, I've come, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Write my name in the book of, my, the book of life, O oh Lord. And give me the grace to walk before you all the days of my life, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father in heaven, we want to say thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you are not serving a dead God, Lord. We serve a God that even before we ask, he answers us, Lord. Ah, but we know that there may be hindrance to our prayer, and some of this we have looked, Lord. And any, 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 any of us are going through challenges, Lord, Lord, deliver us from it in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to walk in total obedience with your word in the name of Jesus. Every struggle, Lord, help us to live above it in the name of Jesus. Even before we cry, answer us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. It's time to give our offerings to the Almighty God and our tithe. Scriptures encourage us in the book of uh, the Tarot that we should not come unto his present empty and dead. So let's pack it our offering, our tithe, and the choir will give us songs to sing. Shall we rise in our feet? Yes. What are you turned into wine? You open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. No in heaven we want to say thank you Lord. scripture says you are the one that give power you are the giver of, of power to get wealth lord jehovah we thank you lord for the strength for the enablement lord to go out in, each day lord to work lord thank you lord abba father for this strength lord lord out of what you have blessed us we have brought this to honor you lord father accept it in the name of jesus Bless us in return in the name of Jesus. Father, give us ideas to make wealth in the name of Jesus. End every struggle in the name of Jesus. 
put a new song in our mouth in the name of Jesus. And every form of devourer will rebook it in our finances in the name of Jesus. Bless us, O oh Lord, and make us a blessing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please kindly be seated. I quickly, um, we, January, we start doing this in the beginning of the year. Uh, for birth, for people celebrating their birthday this month. So that gift is for everyone celebrating their, their birthday. Is it for the both young and the, or for the adult? So anyone celebrating their birthday uh, this month, January? I think we know sister of your sister. Okay, oh, okay. What song are we going to sing for them? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> to you happy birthday to you these are talking of love happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to you may the good Lord bless you oh yes may the good Lord bless you yeah yeah may the good Let's stretch forth our hands to them and let's pray that the Lord will bless them, the Lord will honor them, the Lord will fight their battles, the Lord will make his face shine upon them, O Lord. Grant heart their heart desire. Close our walk with God in the name of Jesus. They have put their hand on the plow. They will not look back in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle on their way, the Lord clear it in the name of Jesus. On every side, the Lord will grant them rest in the name of Jesus. That any time we hear from them, it shall be testimony of God's faithfulness in the name of Jesus. And in the kingdom of God, God Father, they will not miss eternity in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Happy birthday to you, sir, ma. Uh, if today is your first time of worshiping with us, yes, as a, yes, uh, daddy, yeah, yes. We are heirs of the Father. Father, we are joint heirs oh. with the Son. Oh. We are children of God's kingdom. few announcements before we close the service. Yes, a prayer, as we have mentioned, is still a season of waiting upon the Lord, and they, I believe I've sent a code now. That is a code uh, to join us. We, we meet each uh, Monday to Saturday, 5 to 6. We pray together. It's online. That's the same code we use for the fasting. Please be encouraged to to join us and also on Wednesday Wednesday is the last day in the month of uh, January and each month each day the last day we always pray we pray into the month and that is uh, I believe it's the same code anyway so same code the time is um, 11 to 1, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. just two hours men all to pray this is one of our weapons because we don't have any other strength, we don't have any other God. We cry unto God that God should answer us our petition. So please join us, the same code. The time is um, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And it's not for us alone. For invite your friends and everywhere you are in the surface of the earth, you can connect and all we do is uh, we pray. And God bless you as you join us in Jesus' name. Evangelism on Saturday. And the time is 12.30 to 1.30. At the 
main church at the entrance there you meet people there or if you are close to the city center you see people there as well please come and let's do the work of of our father and the lord strengthen us in jesus name let's rise on our feet as we 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 close but this time next sunday is going to be month of february wow let's thank the almighty god for his grace his mercy his favor let's thank god for jolly mercies good earth and sound mind you didn't allow you to be to, to get to to, to, to to get breakdown he sustained you fought your battles we say thank you lord we give you praise, Lord. We give you honor. We give you adoration, Lord. Ye karata yanda koso tori debo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. Thank you, Emmanuel, for being with us, Lord. Be thou be exalted, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's pray with this scripture, Psalm 102, verse 13. Thou shall rise and have mercy upon Zion. Put your name in there. Now, as you go into this new week, as you enter the new month, Lord, over my life, over my home, Lord, arise. Have mercy upon me, Taiwo Austin Fregene. Have mercy upon my household, Lord. Have mercy upon everyone that is connected to me, Lord. In the name of, as we go, Lord, arise, Lord. Arise for me, Lord. Arise, O Lord. Show mercy. Show mercy upon me. Show your mercy upon me. Upon everything that concerns me, Lord. Upon everyone that is connected to me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And so, Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for feeding us with your word, Lord. We thank you for this gathering, Lord. For Yada, you have not called the household of Jacob to seek you in vain. Your people have come to worship you, Lord, to honor you. Father, Lord, as they go, let your grace go before them in the name of Jesus. Let your hand be evident in their life in the name of Jesus. Every evil awaiting them this ending of this month, Lord, into the new month, we are averted by your blood in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak for them in the name of Jesus. That door they are knocking that will bring glory to your name, Lord, open unto them in the name of Jesus. Father, cause your face to shine upon them in the name of Jesus. Or put them with your hand of righteousness in the name of Jesus. And perfect all that consign them in the name of Jesus. Let your people know rest in their home, in their family, in their earth, over the work of their hand in the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering us, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Shalom.